directed a quarantine draw shortly after the outbreak. The global relief effort Steady Stream Supply Drop has sustained what few survivors remain in the city. The Ministry of Defense believes more radical action should be taken to stem the tide of this virus. The question is, are there still non-infected survivors in the city as the GRE maintains? And if so, will the ministry still go through with a stated plan to annihilate the city in an attempt to wipe out the Haran virus once and for all? Whether by way of the virus or the ministry's proposed plan, one thing is certain. Haran days are numbered. Shit. It's recording. Howdy y'all. Welcome to Dying Light. Um I think I'm gonna play this. I'm like in the mood for some dying light. Just going down my list and saying, what can I play that I realistically want to? I'm probably gonna play the mafia games and put them on the on the channel. Just have to find the one to play them. I'll play one for sure. <laughs> Changed the 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 um change settings so that way it's back to sixty. Hopefully it's not. Only the last two that.
on the subject, Kadir Suleiman, a local political figure hired to maintain order after the outbreak. His brother Hassan died in a disease-related incident before we were able to evacuate him. Suleiman blamed the GRE for Hassan's death. He stole a highly sensitive file which became his bargaining chip against the GRE, with instructions to publicize it if anything happened to him. Data on the subject, the stolen file. Just in 10 seconds. It details the incomplete process of synthesizing a cure for the virus. If implemented in its current state, the produced substance may be extremely toxic. Now. Also, the file contains full description of the virion structure. Any attempt to use it would result in countless lives lost. It must be recovered. Further information, current status. Suleiman sent the file to an associate unknown to us with instructions to publicize it at his command at any time. To counter that, we instituted a citywide communication jam, preventing him from publicizing the file. Your GRE-issued radio can overcome that jamming. It is your lifeline. Do not lose it. Suleiman has since gone underground and begun using a different name. We have reason to believe he now leads one of the two main factions operating within the city. You are to find Suleiman and locate the stolen file in order to save mankind from a disaster of unprecedented proportions. told you that wasn't a normal drop shoot. Break his legs, then take him to Rai. Back up! All of you! Stop! Loud noises draw them. Fall back! Fall back!
Off to a great start. Where am I? In paradise, can't you see? Okay, not joking around. Head to 190. What do you mean, 31? Talk to me. Do you remember anything? You know what you are? Yeah, I can, I can see this is some kind of shelter. We call it the tower. Brecken and his runners have been together a couple of months ago, and we've been here ever since. Hunting airdrops, scavenging, and rescuing people. Yeah, I, I wanted to thank that girl. You could. If it was not for her, you'd already be chewing some of these knee bones. Your antigen was totally crushed, by the way. Only thing Jade could salvage. Oh, great. So can I get that back, please? Actually, I think I need it more than you do. Believe me, pal, that's not the case. Take it. You know what? For guys like you. So now you take the answer from someone else, and you won't even share your gear with us? I don't have time to deal with your shit. I one of our guys, thanks to the fucked up radios we're stuck with. Do something for me. I don't want to see all your precious radio anymore. Use for somewhere else. Don't tolerate lazy assholes. Hey, be fair. I'm not. I'm not lazy. I'm just. Hey, boss.
I'm not lazy, you little shit. Thirteenth floor. I'm getting some stuff for Raheem. Raheem? Shit. But we all got to pull our weight around here, huh? Easy. It's all right now. I'll, I'll get help. Hey, Raheem, this is Crane. I'm down here on 13. Listen, this guy of yours got fucked up pretty bad getting away from a zombie. Oh, shit. 31? You went after Mark? Is it, is it safe down there? Yeah, well, it's safe enough now. Okay, don't move. I'm sending Lena downstairs. Hold still. Lena will be here any minute. I try to stay calm, okay? I'll be right back.
Okay, I think that's everything I'm gonna find. Let's go. This is shot. Okay, who's hurt? He's bleeding pretty bad. You see him? Pay you guys for what you did for me. Well, good. Come find me, and we'll talk about how you can do that. You know what I'm doing? Yeah? You think you can't die? You're not my mom. No, I'm not. Our mom's dead. So you might want to be a little nicer to me since I'm the only family you have left. Especially now that Amir is gone. You're Jade, right? Right. I just wanted to thank you for what you did for me and, and tell you how sorry I am for your loss. I owe you and Amir my life. Yeah, you do. You want to return the favor? Keep my dipshit brother from killing himself. No explosives, Rahim. Get to talk to Brecken now? First, go change your clothes. I left some new ones for you in your room. You're in 191. Something wrong with what I'm wearing? You need something that fits the job Brecken wants you to do. Call me JT. Then you are. Rahim, I'm ready. Where do I find Brecken? Not so fast, 31. If you're going to earn your keep, we have to find out if you've got the skills. So get your ass up to the gym. It's on the top floor. 
more. Just a couple flights up. Raheem, I don't see you. Where are you? Hardly. 
The closest I ever came to this was running track in high school. Well, then you're a fucking prodigy. Never seen anything like it. happening to me? Chris? Oh, shit. Chris, talk to me. What's going on? Something went wrong. Raheem, what just happened to me? Oh, shit. I bet you're having your first seizure. Just get back over here. What the fuck was that? Does this mean I'm I'm turning? Most likely not. At least not yet. Seizures remind you that you're infected. You better see Dr. Zeratov. Talk to the point. He'll like you. FPS. Everything looks green light go from here. All right, they've given me an actual job, and nobody suspects I'm not who I say I am. So far, so good. And once Dr. Z. It's me. Name's Crane. Is there anything else? I'm in a bit of a rush.
Alright, pee breaks over. I should grab coffee.
great precision. Each strike with a blunt weapon to an enemy's head has a chance to stun. Doctor? Hello? Anybody there? Camden, are you there? Uh, so I'm supposed to get a vaccine? Inevitable. So th there's no cure? You really think you can figure it out? And who's Dr. Camden? He's been collaborating via radio. Checked me out and gave me another shot. Okay, great. I don't have to hold you for a while, which is good, because I'm starting to get used to the idea of bossing you around. So, time for a real trial. Go talk to Spike. The fight's near Zeta's truck. He's got the first real job for you. Hey, Spike? I'm Crane. Just what I need. All right, shut up and pay attention. There are two types of airdrops. One is food, first aid supplies, survival gear and such. The other guy is filled with ants. GRE sends in a one-way video feed that lets us know when they're on the way. But the trouble is, the airdrops from ants that keep getting raided by rising stars. We're not ants in, we're basically screwed. Rise and his boys are only on break from the day. This way, you're after dark, he's a day to wait to get killed. But the next two ants and drops are coming down right at sunset tonight. And breaking means to go after this may be our only chance to reach the airdrop. What's my part here? Well, as I said, going out at night is basically suicide. Or it would be if I had been sending safe cells and traps out there for weeks now, which I have. Breaking the team will be okay tonight, so long as you get out there now and arm those traps. That's your part. All right. What are these traps and how do I arm them? You'll see. I'll be talking at noon. Just remember, without these traps, Breaking won't survive the night. If he doesn't come back with answers, we are lost. Before you head out there, press the firecrackers. Take those up. Then the drive structure control. You heard the man. Firecrackers. Take
adjusting my screen right now, sorry. Working for Spike. You're Crane, right? Listen, our runner's trying to secure one of our safe houses for Brecken's mission. He's in a courtyard by Zephyr and Mamar, surrounded by zombies. We've got to help him. All right, I'm on it.
Okay, Jade, I'm here, along with some infected. Watch your stomach. for this guy.
let's move now.
Crane here. Report. Okay, I met this doctor, scientist type. They've got him set up in a sort of research trailer, and he's working on a cure for the virus. His name is Zera. Hello? Do you copy? Affirmative. Secondary objective added. Maintain your cover and secure all of his research. Acknowledge. Your stolen file still takes top priority, though, right? Affirmative. We find it unlikely that a single researcher working out of a trailer could produce any significant results. But if he does, we want to see it. Jade, it's done. Good. We'll need to prepare more places like that one. We've got more spots picked out for future safe zones. Spike will mark them on your map later. And Crane. Thank you. Back to you, Spike. Right now, you need to get back to our main task and arm the next trap. There's another car close by. Got it. The infected are all over the street. So what does that tell you? Keep off the street. Try to stay on the rooftops where they can't reach you. Well, they're all around the car, Spike. You still have some firecrackers, don't you? Just throw some into the crowd. Those dead bastards are easily distracted. All done with the car, Spike. Keep on like that, you just might make it. The next trap's close by, and I shouldn't have to tell you, but don't get caught out in the open. Spike, these freaks are everywhere. If I need to use a trap, how do I activate it? Yeah, I told you, they're only for the night mission. Shit. Okay.
Contraption you got here. Three times brighter than an ordinary street lamp. Gives the effect of quite the sunburn.
Lights are all set. You ready for the next one, then? Yeah, hurry. The whole goddamn district went down. What the hell's going on? Not again. All right, listen. There's a power substation near. Go check it out. Hey, this blackout has really put us in a tight spot. We're defenseless here. Plus, the safe zones and some of my traps are down too. Substation reset. But if the grid shorted once, you know it could happen again, right? You leave the electrical engineering to me, okay? Just get your ass to a safe zone.
I do for you? I just saw this freaking weird zombie. He's covered in big green blisters. It, it hauled ass as soon as it spotted me. You know anything about it? <laughs> Not enough information, I'm afraid. But if you see another one, do let me know. Okay, give me a sec. You have now completed the prologue and are ready to survive a full dying life experience. Coolio. Uh, it's 1.52. I think I'm going to leave this episode here. Like, we've completed the prologue. I think this is a good place to stop. Uh, thank you, partners, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And have a good day, and I'll see you in the next one.